Hello everyone, Michael here, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm back with another update on my LEGO SCP Foundation. Um, yeah, it's amazing what I did in just one day since the last update. It's actually been only 17 hours since the last update on this. But anyways, I added a bunch of new stuff like the foundation itself. So we're going to go into that. And yeah, let's do this. So here it is. My Lego SCP Foundation that is pretty much finished for now. There's so much to come, don't don't forget. I've actually started you know, just building the foundation itself. Because just with this big plain desert area. And since it's called the Lego SCP Foundation, you know, it should have well the SCP Foundation, right? So now let's get straight into this update. So to start, I've added some more things to the outside area. For instance, I have removed that piece that says Edward and swapped it out for a regular 1x6 tile piece. I've also added this big sign here that says United States. It's supposed to say United States government, but unfortunately there isn't a printed piece that says governments. So I had to just, you know, have this as it is. But that is actually a print from the Lego Saturn V rocket that they made a couple of years ago. I actually had that, but my channel didn't exist back then, and um, my sister broke it into pieces. In fact, this is all that's left of it. It's all that's left of the Saturn V rocket. And really, that's what it looks like in real life nowadays, because, you know, the Saturn V, it already served its purpose. There's no need to use it anymore. So it kind of looks like that, but if you go to Florida at the Kennedy Space Center Vi Visitor Complex, I've actually been there once, you can still see the actual real life, or it might be a replica, I'm not too sure, Saturn, Saturn 5B, I think that's what it's called. But anyway, enough about that. Back to the model. Right there, I don't really know if you can see it, but there, if we zoom in, there you can see a little mouse, because, you know, deserts, they always have little animals and rodents scattering about the place. In this case, this guy is running for some shade, and I don't really know if you can tell, but that is the 2018 Lego Harry Potter Scabbers mouse piece, not the regular, just plain lifeless mouse that lego made over the years from 2014 to present day but i just think it looks way better <laughs> plus that other mouse looks creepy anyways moving on as you can see i've added a lot of things to the mountain there's it's, it's a quite larger now also added some more duplo connections just to make it a bit more sturdy and yeah also added that robe piece over there let me just move what's left of the saturn five there we go there there's a better view for you guys let me just move it to a better angle there we go so there you can see the entrance to the scp foundation with a guy there, a guard, whose name is Gary, and he does not mess around. So you do not want to mess with Gary because, because he is a trained professional and will shoot at command. So do not mess with him. <laughs> and there right next to him, you can see a turret, a actual gun turret. Which can spin around and stuff. Um, also, I'm just aiming like that towards the camera. 
you look carefully, you can see that little one by one trans trans white clear stud there. That's supposed to represent a camera, so you can, you know, kind of aim this thing if somebody dares. Um, if any unauthorized person even dares to try to get into the SCP Foundation. And right there we have a little booth there. And you can open the window from the inside, just like that. So you can talk to the guy there. And there you can kind of get a glimpse of his hand. Let me just see if I can get him out of there. Just reach in, you know, I'm gonna take this little thing apart. There we go, got him. So here he is, his name is Sean. He's a tough little guy. And he's ready to take care of anyone that tries to get into the SCP Foundation. He's like the little re re receptionist. That's what I was trying to say. He's got his little microphone, headphone, ear thing to talk with the main SCP Foundation, see if um, everything's according to um, ID. And just take him out of the way. And if you zoom in, you can see that he's got a lever to put up the barricade and a computer to check all the current workers at the SCP Foundation. And speaking of barriers, there is indeed a barrier which actually can be lifted up. So all you need to do is just do this up and it opens. Now uh, let me see if I can find a car to demonstrate. There we go. So pu put that back down. So up comes a car. Sean checks him in opens the barricade and they can drive on through also i've made the i've had to do some modifications with the fence here just to make it so that cars can actually go through it but only six wise car six six wide cars can actually come through so yeah as you see when i demonstrated the barricade so yeah, only six wide cars can come through, but you know what? That's absolutely fine. All right. And I've also used the little ladder there just for some extra detail. So there we go. We put Sean back at his post. And now we can move on to the rest of the foundation that I've added. So after Sean checks you in, you go down this road. And right at a small intersection to your left, you will see the first containment area for the foundation. Um, it's not really much. I've just started work on it. But there you can see one of the workers leading one of the D class to experiment in this little containment area. And there you can see a little locking mechanism doesn't actually work on the door. So, I mean, you can open it either way. But, you know, like the actual in-universe thing in real life, you would open it, do this, and then you'd be able to open it. But I just thought it would be a cool little detail as a locking mechanism so they don't have a containment breach so just in case one of the SCPs break out of its containment, they still have to get through the door, but I'm pretty sure they can pretty break the glass if they wanted to. So don't really see what's the point of that. Or maybe it's just if somebody got in, they wouldn't actually go in and see the SCPs. But then they could break the glass too. So yeah, not really getting their, their, their thoughts here. Anyways, before we move on to the actual foundation or containment area itself, 
let's keep on going down the road. Here we see a little guy whose name is Phil. His job is to take out the trash out of the trash can. As you can see, just grab him. There we go. He's got a, a trash bag, and he's carrying it to the um, to the trash incinerator on his little car here. You know, just going down my own country road to take out the trash and incinerate it all. And that's where the road ends for now, but it's going to extend out all the way out there and maybe go off at a couple of parts. I'm, I apologize for the mess. I've been doing a lot of experimenting and um, stuff with just random bits and bobs. But now let's move on to the actual containment area itself. So if I can just bring in the camera a little bit closer, just... Okay, that's about as far as I can go. Let me see what I can do. Okay, that <clears throat> should be good. So there we have the main hallways. Entrance to the containments. Here we have two of the containments. Right there, we have SCP-173's containment. So people need to be looking at them at all times, so... There are cameras everywhere, and people need to look at him 24-7 so he doesn't go anywhere. And there we just have a, a few little um, research state, a little research station on SCP-173. I'm guessing what's that, that what, I'm guessing that's what the D-class is for, for exper experimenting. There we have a... Scientists typing and recording data on her computer there. Got some more displays there. I'm gonna I'm eventually gonna add another guy right there. And that's about that for SCP-173's containment, but if you haven't noticed already that there is a second containment right next to SCP-173's. And that is this containment. So, this is SCP-999's containment. As you can see, I've actually got him in there right now. So, this is my first ever SCP. As you can see, he's, he's looking quite cute. Um, actually, SCP-1999 is actually the nicest SCP out there. He's also very cute and does not want to hurt humans. The only thing sinister about him is his origin. You can go and check that out at the SCP animated channel. And I've used that printed piece from the from the Lego Movie 2 Planet Sparkle little um little spa um, worker and just added a couple of yellow pieces to make it look like he's kind of flopping around also like what i did with the wall there if you're wondering how i did that well let me show you but before i show you that if you're wondering yes i am using an illegal building technique for the walls <laughs> Now, let me show you how I did that little wall piece there. As you can see, I've actually used a little hinge technique there. I really like what I did with that, just to add that little... Oh, no, it fell apart. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's not the sturdiest attachment in the world. As you can see, the whole thing is floating. Don't ask me why, it just is. There we go, that's all fixed. Oh, the only thing that's not fixed is... The wall, just carefully place it back. There we go. And that is pretty much it for now. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. And I'll see you all guys tomorrow.